Petey, how disappointed were you with last night's game to get back into it at 2-2 and then give up the late goal? Uh, yeah, we battled back. We got the tie and then an unfortunate ending uh, and them scoring four seconds left or whatever it was. So, And you've probably seen or heard what Rick said after the game that, you know, he, he you need more than 12 guys to win and that there's five or six passengers. As a player, when you hear that from your coach, what do you think? How does it make you feel? Oh, yeah, I think he sends a message to the group that we all need to be better. Uh, and obviously myself, I know I can be better. I'm, uh, I'm trying out there, maybe not going the best way right now, but I'm, yeah, I'm trying. I want to win. I know that um, you and the club, everyone's maintained that there's not an injury. So from your perspective, why has it been so difficult these last three months to generate the way you maybe did previously? Yeah, good question. Any any thoughts, any answers? No. There's also been some thought that, um, and even Rick said it earlier, that maybe you're not getting uh, the support you need. And there, you know, there's a thought out there that maybe if you're playing with uh, players that score more or things like that, that that might help. Do you see it that way at all? Yeah, maybe, maybe it could, maybe it could help. But also at the end of the day, I can only focus on what I can do. And um, obviously, I I want to be better. I want to be the difference maker, and uh, it hasn't uh, gone obviously the way I wanted to be. But at the end of the day. Uh, can't dwell on it too much. We have a game tomorrow. I'm going to try to do my best. And uh, yeah, that's where my head's at. Petey, uh, emotions were obviously raw after last night's loss, but game five tomorrow on home ice. I mean, how do you turn that? Firstly, how are you feeling today after a night's sleep? And, and how do you turn things around for tomorrow? Yeah, it was uh, hard getting to sleep last night when we with the way it ended. But yeah, it is what it is. And with you, uh, Edmonton's been physical with you, similar to Nashville. Is there anything you look to change about your game heading into Game 5? Um, I mean, just create more uh, to be successful around, uh, uh, play good two-way, create chances. Uh, just uh, one good shift at a time. Um, you crave competition. I assume that is a fun thing for you. Mm -hmm. Are are you are you feeling the fun right now, or is it feeling a little overwhelming? It's uh, it's very fun playing playoffs and um, trying to make the most of it. And, and just in terms of the mental challenge, I mean, you've had so much success in your life. This is we look at it and we can see you are getting the results that you've had in the past. Has this been the biggest mental challenge for you? And what are you perhaps doing to try to reset yourself? Yeah. Yeah, probably. And is there something? You, are there any tricks you're trying to break out from that, or block? You know, uh, re remove the blocks, or yeah, the next will. game is trying to play my best hockey. Petey, we were told you were dealing with a head cold last week. Are you still dealing with that right now, or is that allergies? What? What? what do you, you sound congested. How are you yeah, it's yeah, a little congested, congested and cough and whatever normal cold, but yeah, it is what it is. We've seen your compete level and how good you can be. How much does it eat away at you when you're not doing what you, what we've seen, what we've come accustomed to you see doing on the ice? What was, what was the question? Does it eat away at you not being able to, to contribute the way that you yeah, have done I mean, in the past? I want to play my best hockey every game. And, um, I mean, just going through a little adversity, adversity and trying to Play well, not going my way, and um, but then at the end of the day, what can I do? And that is to try to play next game better. Can't dwell on bad games or not my best performance previous games. So, yeah. How hard has it been to stay confident through all of this? It's it challenged me, but um, I always said I like challenges and. Uh, I always like to think I've uh, answered them. So, um, oh yeah, it's, uh, uh, what's, what's the word? I mean, it's playoffs. It's, um, 
yeah, I can't find a word. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I like the challenge, but yeah, it's been a tough one. Rick is still playing you a lot, especially in the third period yesterday. Does that mean something to you that he still is is rolling you out there and, and still has confidence in you? Yeah, it feels feels good. You think otherwise? I also wanted to ask you about the power play and um, collectively as a group. Uh, even JT talked about it before uh, before and after the game. Just. Uh, it's been a challenge for you guys to gain the zone with consistency. Uh, is there anything specifically they're doing that's making it hard for you? Yeah, Edmonton uh, got a good PK. Uh, I think when we get in the puck, we get some scoring chances. Uh, but, yeah, I think we can do a better job to make sure we get in every time uh, because they've been doing a good job, especially the last game.